What is up guys? So as you know from my previous video I did mention that I want to upgrade the front suspension So currently this uh, track fuel EX is using a front um, RockShox Recon suspension 140mm This RockShox Recon that I have now it's uh, quite an entry level suspension It's pretty respectable but but I think I prefer a bit uh, better suspension I'm not that good in uh, bicycle suspension so everything I, I'm more into a, a motorbike kind of guy so I'm riding a KTM 300 so using WP suspension and everything so I'm trying this suspension for, for the first time upgrade it for the first time so I've bought a rock shop bike suspension this is the latest 2021 rock shop bike ultimate RC2 so I'm not too sure what's the difference but the price from the 2019 and the 2021 is probably about $100 so I decided to get the latest one um, between the old one and the new one uh, you can always check it out at the website it's quite significant I guess there's no lockout um, they, 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 they have a um, you know charger 2.1 or, or the RC2 or the um, RCT3 which I, I'm, I'm still get trying to get used to the term now so I'm going to install this today and I'm going to test it out at the trails tomorrow with the guys so before that uh, let's do the unboxing and see what we have inside it comes with a black box RockShop black box uh, quite decent quite presentable Okay, so they give you a rock shot mud guard and uh, some manuals here. I think this is the token and some cable ties for the mud guard. And I think this is the manual. And here it is, guys. This is the rock shot. Ultimate Fight 2021 Cool And uh, they say you can uh, always get it up to 150 or 160 with some adjustments inside I'm not too sure how it goes but uh, it comes with 140 and uh, my bike also is using a 140mm front suspension so I did not do anything or did not modify it so I just uh, I just bought it and it is it's 140mm hopefully this gives me better damping more quieter ride and uh, you know increase the control in, in, in during the trail ride so now let's go to the installation First here I'm going to remove the front tire So next I'm going to remove the front brake caliper So it's secured by two screws Remove the, uh, the cable from the clip Okay, next you need to loosen up the stem screws. So next you're gonna remove this screw on top here. So just be careful once you remove this screw, the suspension might drop down. So make sure you're holding one hand below. <coughs> Remove all these pieces. 
From there, you can remove the suspension. Okay, that's the bottom headset. So the right one is the RockShot Recon, which comes stops on the bike, and this is the pike. Weight wise, uh, the pike they say is gonna weigh about 1.8. I'm not too sure about the Recon. So from what I can feel, the pike is probably a bit more lighter, I guess. I'm gonna reuse back the crown race. The crown race is quite new. It's only like two rides old. So I'm gonna um, transfer the crown race from the stock suspension over to the ultimate pike. So what you can do is you can use a flat head screwdriver and use a towel over it and try to peel out the crown race. So there's a slot here. Yeah, and you can just put it in and wiggle it out. Hopefully, you can slowly pull out the crown race. Coming out slowly. Yes. Okay, here is the crown race from the old suspension. You can use this back. The diameter is the same because both are rock shocks. Okay, so now we are going to install the crown race. So before we do that, we need to apply some grease. I'm using a Maxima waterproof grease. And also at the crown race, the inner area of the crown race. And for the floor, I did use some uh, carpet to soften the impact so the, the suspension won't be damaged. So I'm going to use some cloth to cover over the race and I'm going to use a BB opener to hammer down the race into position. It's a mallet and slowly knock it in. Knock at all sides so it's going to be evenly positioned in the steered stem. So the crown race has been installed. Let me put some grease here. So I've cut the steered stem about the same length as the original one. It is a 180 mm. Now we're gonna install the star nut inside the new steerer stem. Okay, now let's install the suspension. Put in, install the lower headset. Put it in. And. Put through the cone. Ok, 
key you need to install back the front brake caliper which takes a lot of time so as for the cable there is a cable retention holder at the fork just need to remove the screw so slot in the bracket into the cable and screw back in okay so the kit comes with a mud guard with four cable ties so i'm gonna put it here i'm gonna install it in front here so i've also bought a rock shock fork guard i'm gonna install it here right uh, this only cost like 15 dollars so quite cheap i'm gonna lay some electric tape so that the cable tie won't scratch the suspension just a little bit Okay, let's install the other side. Okay, looks good. Okay, let's install the front tire now. So for the front axle, I always like to put a little bit of uh, NTCs so that it won't jam up okay now that we've installed the uh, front fork so we're gonna set the pressure now so I'm gonna I don't have a rock shock pump so I'm gonna use my KTM WP suspension pump which is quite similar it's uh, digital so you can see accurately what's the value of the PSI so in uh, Rockshock at Rockshock website they, they can calculate the uh, pressure for you um, I've calculated my pressure so with my gear it's about 80 kilograms and they've tabulated the score I need to pump a pressure of about 88 PSI and the rebound is minus 9 clicks from the top so remove the air cap on the left side of the fork so next insert the air pump screw the air pump in Okay, so I'm going to continue setting the PSI to about 88. So I'm going to release some air. Sixty-seven, put in air. Five eighty-eight. Yep, it's about eighty-eight now. Okay, so we're gonna set the rebound screw now. So the manual says that um, the rebound suggestions are set from the full clockwise, full slope position. So that means you need to turn the screw clockwise until it's at the end and uh, turn anti-clockwise to 9 clicks so I'm gonna turn clockwise 
until it reach to the top okay so I can't turn anymore so I'm gonna turn anti-clockwise nine clicks down one two three four five six seven eight nine all right so this is the default setting for my weight all right so I've successfully installed the RockShot Ultimate Pike uh, front suspension on the bike all looks quite good um, I've already set the air to 88 psi and the rebound to minus nine clicks um, I've yet to set the compression the high and uh, low compression over here uh, so the small clicks it's a total of 18 clicks so I reduce it to nine so I'm gonna play about half of it so for the high adjustment here it's a uh, that's total for only four clicks so i reduce it to about two clicks i'll see tomorrow how it goes how is the um, damping and the rebound and i'll just uh, and i'll adjust it uh, tomorrow during the ride so all of it looks quite nice with the fog guard and um, the price for the fog I bought it at Tay Cycle at Bukit Timah. The, the cost is one uh, one three five zero. Comes with one year warranty. If there's any if there's anything wrong with the fork, you can just send it to them and they can um, do the warranty repair for you. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the ride, and see you guys next time. Ciao.